Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, hope you all are doing well. So, today I am going to show you how to make awesome animation with SVG, HTML, and CSS. Without wasting time let's get started. I will show the full tutorial step by step, follow the steps properly. First open Chrome browser. Type undraw in the search bar. Then select illustration. Select any SVGs that you want to animate you can find lots of SVGs here, select the one that you like. I am going with a selected one that I want to animate. Now click on the SVG to download. Open File Explorer where the SVG downloaded. Select the SVG file and rename it. Go to Windows to open Figma. You all may have questioned what is Figma. Figma is a vector graphics editor and prototyping tool which is primarily web-based, with features enabled, including vector tools which are capable of full-fledged illustration, as well as prototyping capabilities, and code generation for hand-off the best application for team-based collaborative design projects. After opening Figma create a design and import the SVG file inside that design. Now, if you want to design the SVG you can. I prefer to design the SVG to make it little bit more attractive. You can follow my design here, how I am doing it. I will make a separate video on how to design in Figma. Now, select that the vectors that you want you animate, by clicking shift in the keyboard. Then click Ctrl plus G to group them into one. Then rename the group with a proper attribute name. I am selecting the one that I want to animate. Now export the SVG file by clicking on the include ID attribute enabled. Then create a folder with your project name. Then copy paste the SVG inside the folder. Now open the folder with preferred IDE. Then create a HTML and CSS file inside the folder. and copy the SVG code inside the HTML body. So, this is the part 1 of the SVG animation. In this tutorial you learned how to take a SVG file and design it in Figma, and learn how to include ID attribution to export it to use for animation using HTML and CSS. Now, this is the wrap up of this part 1. Go check out the second part in the link given in the description below, or check out in the i button above. Bye, see you in the next video.